everybody will always need communications. People will always need a telephone, people will always need a computer, and we can install them, services for them. And this is basically what we do all around the world. We control the battlefield using communications, so we set up a network of radios and we allow people on the ground, i.e. your infantry soldiers, to talk to their commanders. So we're currently inside a, a Bulldog, which is an armoured vehicle, which has been fitted with radios. The first few days into location, you enable the radios, set them all up, get them talking to other radios on the ground, erect masts if need be. If you have a cable just running along the floor, someone can get into it. Uh, they can sabotage it. You can actually hack into a telephone line. When it's through containment and stuff, it's a lot harder to get access to. We'll have uh, active equipment where you get your telephones and exchanges. Uh, different types of sort of jumpers that we can go from fibre optic to copper. Uh, this basically gives connectivity to the outside world. It's incredibly hands-on. So say if something goes wrong with the radios, we're then there to go and fix that straight away to get back into the battlefield as quick as we can. We will have an engineer deployed with every piece of equipment just to provide the support for the operators. The travelling keeps us on our toes because although the job is the same, the environment changes. Brunei was very difficult because the humidity out there. In a couple of weeks after here, I'm going to Kenya for the first time. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. The most satisfying thing about my job is being able to build something from scratch and see two people be in two different locations and being able to speak. It takes hours of work, but after it, the feeling is great.